Welcome to Ashley Marie. Today we are making one of my holiday favorites and that is homemade eggnog. Let's get started. We need, of course, eggs. Now I'm making a double batch today because I have a lot of people coming over tomorrow, so I'm using a dozen eggs. You can, of course, make this in a much smaller batch that's a little bit more family reasonable sized, but I figure, hey, as long as I'm making it, why not make a lot of it? So first thing we need to do is separate the eggs, the whites and the yolks. You can use any method you want for separating your egg whites and your egg yolks. I use my hand, it's cold and slimy, but uh, I find it's a lot faster and easier than trying to juggle the shells back and forth and not crack the yolk into my egg whites. I feel like this way I never risk my egg whites getting contaminated with any yolk at all. Over here I have some milk and cream heating up. We're trying to not bring this to a boil or anything like that. We're not trying to cook the milk or cream, but we do want it to be nice and warm. And while that's warming up, I'm taking all these beautiful egg yolks that we just separated and I'm going to add a bunch of sugar, cause you know, this is a sweet dessert and a pinch of salt. That was loud, that was more than I thought. Now we're gonna whisk them together and we're creating a yolky sugary paste. Really get your arm muscles and do it. Our eggs are nice and creamy and light colored and just smooth and oh, they look great. And our milk and cream mixture is nice and warm. So what we're gonna do is take this warm mixture and pour it into our egg mixture. And that's called tempering. We're gonna temper our eggs, bring the eggs up to a hotter temperature so that we can cook them even higher without cooking them, you know, without scrambling them. Because if I just added these straight into this warm milk, they would kind of turn into curdled scrambled eggs as I poured them and we don't want that. So I have something like kind of sticky underneath the bowl to kind of hold it so I can pour and stir at the same time and use both of my hands. And rather than try to hold this entire pot with my little hand, I'm going to use um, just some a container to pour the milk. Anything will work. So, so we're gonna add the warm mixture. Try not to spill everywhere. This is the same way you make pretty much any type of custard or curd or pastry cream. It's a very normal technique and the eggs are the thickener in this case and the deliciousness. All right. So this is mixed in, it's nice and warm. Now we're gonna add it back into the hot mixture and bring the whole thing up to a warmer temperature. Our cream, our milk, our eggs and our sugar mixture that we're stirring constantly so that it doesn't cook or burn is heating up really nicely. The great thing about this recipe is rather than a lot of other recipes that have this base that talk about uh, heat it up until it's thick and your finger can pass along the spoon or all of those strange rules, which hey, I have those recipes too. Uh, this one actually is to a degree, 160 degree Fahrenheit. So it's really, really easy, no guesswork involved. Oh. And we're there. So now I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna let it cool down. Now it's time for the egg whites. So the secret to good egg whites is actually to use a grease-free bowl. The very best bowl you could possibly use for egg whites is copper. If you don't have copper, then any metal bowl will do. Just stay away from the plastic bowls because even no matter how clean you get them, they tend to be a little bit greasy and uh, metal bowls are just gonna work better. So hand mixer, egg whites, Once they kip past the big foamy stage and kind of go into this fine foamy stage, that's where we're gonna start adding our sugar as we beat the egg whites. So we're not going for stiff peaks. We're not even going for soft peaks. We're going for ribbony and thick and we wanted to hold its shape but not quite to the peak stage yet. So as you can see, if I just stir this, it's holding its lines pretty good. And if I pull a big bunch out, it is holding that form. Perfect. It's time to bring everything together. We have the yolk mixture, we have the white mixture, and we have nutmeg. And that's, well, really what makes this go from just an egg drink to eggnog, in my opinion. So I'm going to add the nutmeg first. 
so I can whisk it in really good. I am just making a mess. <laughs> All right. And now we're gonna take the whites and mix those in as well. And I just do like a quarter at a time Mix it smooth, add a little bit more. Mix it smooth, add a little bit more. I had to move to a slightly bigger container. We were about to overflow. So I don't have much left, but. All right, get the last of the egg whites in here. And it's ready to serve right away. If you put it in the fridge, like I'm making mine a day early, I'm gonna serve it tomorrow. Um, it'll need to be stirred up again with a whisk or a wooden spoon, just because that foam will separate into another layer. And that's it. It's really not that hard and it is seriously so delicious. I always make a double batch because it never lasts long. All right, I would love to see some thumbs up for those of you who love eggnog as much as I do. In fact, because I make it myself, I eat it year round, but I do make this batch a lot during the holidays. I think I've already made it four times since Thanksgiving. <laughs> Anyway, if you click the show more button in the description box down below, you'll get a link to the printable recipe with all of the measurements and everything that you need to make it at home. Leave me a comment if you do. Tell me what you think. What other eggnog recipes do you like? Eggnog fudge, eggnog French toast, eggnog milkshake, eggnog ice cream, eggnog cookies. I am a little obsessed with eggnog. Uh, anyway, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And now let's give this a try. Okay. Ooh, it's thick and creamy, and this is a really big cup. All right, and I like to top mine with a little fresh whipped cream, and then a little sprinkling of some more nutmeg, just because if it comes out. All right, let's give it a try. Mmm. <laughs> Eggnog mustache. All right, this is seriously, you guys, so good. <laughs> you guys want some eggnog? Yeah! Okay, here's some whipped cream for you and some whipped cream for you. All right. I have the nutmeg. All right. Nutmeg. Nut nutmeg, ready? Shake. Shake. All right, ready? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Clink. Mmm. What did you think? I think it was delicious. When was the first time you made the eggnog? Uh, I made eggnog 11 years ago when we were living in Japan, before you were even born. Really? Yep, really. What did you think, baby boy? Is this super, super delicious. <laughs> super delicious. All right. All right, you guys ready to say happy holidays and goodbye? Happy, happy holidays. holidays! Bye! Have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> I mean, super bye. Super bye. <laughs>